it was incredible to us when we found out the figures of what we were dealing with in the UK, how many children are left without support during the holidays. The statistics are very alarming when you think about it in this country that over 400,000 families over the long summer holiday really can't feed their children properly. Street Games aims to bring awareness of that and to do something about it. So many people weren't aware of Street Games as a charity, all the issues that they were dealing with. Street Games' mission is to change lives and change communities through sport. We know that being involved in sports in your local neighbourhood can make a real difference to young disadvantaged people's lives. Something that starts in the summer holidays as a problem ends up shaping these children's experience of education and sometimes their lives beyond that. And they're running projects to make sure that the children who are allocated free school meals during the term time are not left behind during the school holidays. The fact of holiday hunger has a real impact on the educational attainment of the children that Street Games work with. They end up doing less well in school because of it. Their projects have grown out massively. One of their projects, Fit and Fed, is something that's come along in the time we've been working with them. It was an amazing day for us at the House of Lords when we launched Fit and Fed. We were able to get representatives there from all the major parties, and that's very important to us. We had several hundred attendees, including members of parliament, several athletes were there. Matt Dawson introduced the event. We had the sports minister talking about the issues of holiday hunger, but also keeping active and how it can benefit actually their mental and their physical health and well-being. If you've got strength in your body and your mind, then obviously you're going to have that, that concentration level you need to study, you know, which you know, takes a lot of energy. For me, the initiative is fantastic just to keep those kids going on the right path with, and fully stocked and ready to go for the future. I think we all felt quite proud when they had the first royal visit in Wales with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle that they were picked for this among all of the opportunities which the palace had open to them. We've had three visits now from the royal couple and they make such a difference to a lot of things. They make a difference to local publicity, obviously. They make a difference to national publicity, but they really make a difference to the neighbourhood. They've clearly got a bigger following now. If you look at their social media, they've got much more engagement. The awareness levels of the charity have gone through the roof massively. I think it's important to recognise that without a good publicity machine, Fit and Fed would not be where it is now, and APCO have done that work for us. Charities like ours and small businesses need organisations like APCO to promote us. We need people who can manage the relationships with the BBC, with the broadsheets, with the tabloids. We can't do that. So we were delighted that the Royal Couple chose Street Games to receive wedding present donations and generated significant coverage across national and broadcast media, including the BBC, ITV and the Daily Mail. If I had to summarise our work with them, I'd say that we've been helping to tell their story to people that should hear it, whether in Westminster or beyond. It's been great to see how much the charity has grown. There's been a massive difference, actually, between the organisation I started working with over three years ago to today. 